What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel and indeed welcome back to more Train Sim World 2. Welcome to Scotland, so for the very first time ever there's a DLC pack and there's a route which is based in Scotland and as you can see the BR Class 314 just went by in ScotRail livery and I'm really excited about this one. I don't know about you but I just want to jump into this one. I haven't actually tried out this tutorial yet but this is going to be a brief introduction to that. I've switched off the usual dialogue that it sort of bombards you with and I'm just ready to try this out for the first time and we'll see what happens. I mean I don't know if there's any bugs in this particular tutorial or whatever but we'll get started with this introduction now so I'm just going to press A to begin. So guys, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do go ahead and do that as well. And if you enjoy this video, please do like. But I can see here that we're gonna have to just follow the usual tutorial of looking up, looking down, looking left, looking right. Uh, well, it's already inverted, so I think we'll go no there. So yeah, that's kept our inverted option. Now, where's, where's it taking us here? Let's have a look around here first. This is my first time looking around, so yeah, wow. I like the reflections. Nice ceiling option there, nice option. Hmm. Not too sure about this. Look, looks a little bit sort of uh, pasted together, but at least there's a little bit of scrolling going on there as you sort of look around. Okay, let's crack on with this tutorial anyway. Enough of this nonsense. So this is the Cathcart Circle Line. So it comes out of Glasgow. And maybe we can see here, actually. So Glasgow Central, and as you can see, it comes down to Cathcart and then it actually splits off. You can either go to Neilston or Newton, or it goes back around in a circle as well. So, yeah, it's quite a, a decent line, and I, I'm looking forward to seeing how this DLC goes, to be honest with you. He's the Class 314. Bit of a sort of odd-looking train, in my opinion. Not a train that I'm au fait with. I don't know if I've seen these in real life. I don't think they're using them anymore now. Right, let's crack on down this uh, platform anyway and get ourselves in here. Right, we'll get the doors open. And in we go. Right, let's get into this little cabin here. Ah, oh, that door closed behind us automatically there, was that? On its own? I think so. Can you open this one? Oh yeah, you can. Right, we'll close this one. That door closed on its own. Okay, cool. Right, in we go. Get that closed and we'll sit down. Right, so what's first? Pause the game and review the task log. Okay, pause. Where's the task log? So we want to go across. Is this what it's telling us? The schedule, basically? Well... If that's what it's talking about, I guess that's what we've done. Yeah, okay, a heads-up display has appeared in the right-hand side of the screen. This will guide you to what the train is doing. Okay, so I don't know why, but for the DLCs, every single time it treats as if you're playing the game for the first time. I mean, I don't know why um, or what, what sort of percentage of uh, users are coming in for the very first time. But obviously, you don't need to be taken through this. It should be the option to skip through some of this stuff because most people that are playing like a DLC pack will have played the base game to start off with. Um, so I'm not too sure um, where they get this idea from of this being a good approach. But anyway, I'll try not to mourn too much just to start off with at least. We might get into a bit of that later on depending on how this goes. Uh, these are the brake indicators. Okay, yeah, we're aware of that. Let's keep going through this. Um, the track ahead is clear. So we can see the signals, we know what they mean basically. The green is clear. Obviously, if there's an amber signal, that's a caution. Prepare to stop. And red is that there's danger. So the track ahead will be occupied if we see that red. And we do need to stop, else we will fail. Okay, let's continue. What we're doing now. Apply, apply power. Pull the handle towards you to get going. That's what we like the sound of around here. Okay. Is there a window we can open so we can actually hear things? Um, I guess not. I think we're sort of locked in here now, guys. We're trapped. Okay, let's get the power up a bit more. Can we do that? Oh, no, we're stuck. 
So during the tutorial, sometimes it's quite restrictive. So obviously it is in this instance, we can't actually increase the power. Um, we switched it to uh, cruise there for us automatically. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Okay, Glasgow Central is one of the major railway. I didn't get a chance to read that. But obviously, yeah, uh, Glasgow Central is one of the main sort of uh, train stations in the UK, to be fair. Never mind just Scotland. Can we take a look at the external camera? Oh, there we go. So, yeah, it's a bit of a boxy sort of shape to this train. I mean, I'm not against it. Very nice there. Very nice on the scenery. I'm enjoying that. Very, very good. Look at the number of lines here. Just shows you how busy this uh, this particular station could get at times. Well, yeah, we've moved around. Just trying to make sure we've done that to make sure that we complete that tutorial task. Looking forward to seeing what this line's got for us. I think, you know, as a route, it could have a lot to offer. As I say, it's just the one loco, so I'm not too sure how I feel about that at this stage. Welcome to Glasgow, Scotland's largest city with a rich history of shipbuilding, manufacturing, art and culture. Here you can experience the hustle and bustle of a modern suburban network using classic electric traction, which links Glasgow suburbs with the historic Glasgow Central Hub. Along the way, be sure to apply tourist posters, refill newspaper stands, place route maps, and refill planters. Ferry commuters around the busy circle line and to and from Newton and Neilston. Welcome to the Cathcart Circle Line. So there we go, guys. Nice little welcome there. And that's us done with that first part, although we are going to do the local tutorial as well now. So let's crack on with that and get this loaded. So it's a little advertised there for the Cathcart Circle Line, which is obviously what we've already, we've already purchased. So here we go with the Class 314 introduction. So yeah, looking forward to seeing what this loco has to offer. So welcome to driver training. Today you will be taken through the operation of the Class 314 electric multiple unit in Scott Rail livery. During this brief introduction, we will go through the critical driving controls and passenger operations. When you are ready, climb aboard to get started. I don't know about you guys, but I am ready. Let's go. Right, let's get this door open. So, up we go like that. Nice smooth animation there. I like the fact that the doors close behind you, actually. It makes life easy. Let's sit down. And we'll close that door as well. Why not keep it authentic? So... We're going to insert the master key first and switch this thing to neutral. What's next? So press and hold the auxiliary set button. See what this does? Okay, I can hear something very faintly. Sounds like potentially the brakes are coming up there. Yep, it looks like it on the dial there. Um, okay, that's done. So the reservoir is sorted. Um, raise and ho uh, press and hold the raise pentagraph. Close MCB button. So the pentagraph isn't up, I guess. Okay, it's not up. Okay, so we press and hold this. Is it up? Uh, yep, that's up now. Okay, good. Um, let's see what this is. So set the headlights to headlights and marker lights. Headlights and marker lights selected. The reverse it determines the direction of travel. So we'll get this forward, I guess. Yeah, there we go. So set the train brake to release. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, one of the wipers there. Set those off. Don't want them on, it's not raining. Right, okay, we'll release that. And now apply the throttle. Here we go. We're moving. Oh, nice, nice design though, eh? I mean, as I say, guys, you know, to look at initially, it's not exactly the, the sort of uh, most interesting looking train I've ever seen in my life. But 
it's a smooth model I mean it's a decent set of uh, graphics here isn't it okay we're breaking the speed limit ever so slightly we'll apply a little bit of brake like that it's telling us to apply the brake we already have what does it want us to do oh we had the throttle on as well there that's not too smart does it want us to stop Does it want us to stop? Well, I guess we've stopped. Oh, set the train brake to emergency right at the top there. There we go. I guess we were supposed to use that emergency brake to stop. Oh, well. Set the train brake to release. Done. Just using the triggers there to make life a bit easier. Get some power on to get moving. Off we go, nice job. Looks like we're heading towards Glasgow Central. We're about a mile and a half away. Let's get a bit more power on, I think, even though we've got a low speed limit, so we'll just ease it down again. Just to help with the acceleration. There we go, we've got a nice flat track here. So no real sort of worry of um, over speeding just from coasting. As you can see, we're actually losing a bit of speed there. We'll put a tiny bit of throttle on. Looks like we can get a bit more on here. No idea of this train's braking capability. Oh, decent pickup speed though. On full throttle there, full full steam ahead, as they say. Um, looks like the speed limit is coming in a little bit there. Just gonna try and push it a bit further, but We've got about a 50 mile per hour speed limit, I think, looks like. So, yeah, we'll just take it easy, guys. Have you tried out this DLC yet? Um, it was only released... Uh, this video's been recorded the day after it was released, so I'm literally uh, jumping in this for the first time myself, as I say. Never tried this one, although I do have quite a few of the other DLCs. There's not many that I don't have. I... <laughs> I struggle, to be honest with you, with some of the DLCs because some of them are from the first game, re-released, repackaged for Train Sim World 2. And £25 for a DLC that I already earn, own, sorry, or, you know, even a when it comes to the Great Western pack, I mean, that was already included with the standard edition of the game. So it's debatable, you know, whether it's sort of um, ethical to resell that, in my opinion, but they are and people are buying it so yeah we're just going to ease down on the on the speed here just keep an eye on it we're coming in at 30 mile an hour got a speed limit of 15 coming up looks like we already hit a 20 mile per hour speed limit there that we've just blown through let's get a bit more brakes on looks like this train's quite easy to drive i mean it's literally a case of some throttle settings followed by some brake settings i'm surprised the brake doesn't register though on the hood there to show you that you're applying it. I mean, the throttle's obviously off, but there's no sort of uh, real register for the brake to tell you that you've got that on. I guess that's standard though, isn't it, when you've got a, a control for the throttle and a separate control for the brake. Yeah, I, th I think just having driven these other um, EMUs, it's, it's generally a case of you do have just one controller for both, both uh, throttle, and brake but in this instance we've got separate controllers which is kind of cool really to be honest uh i'll be interested to crack on see how we get on with this one okay so we've got an amber signal there uh looks like we're okay for now although we're coming up to that 15 mile per hour speed limit so we'll get a bit more brakes on here there we go hit that 15 nicely controls are very very precise on this I like it. I like it. I can see why this would have been a, a very popular train. Uh, the 314 for this line. Very, very, uh, very, very precise controls in terms of brakes. Looks like we're rolling into this platform now. Although it looks like we're going over to the over to the right there. There we go. Nice one. Okay, coming up to a red signal soon. So we'll just take it nice and easy, let this thing roll in, I think, just like this. There we go, guys, nicely. So, yeah, I mean, 
out of the um, use available, I think this is a quite a good one, to be honest with you. And I'd be interested to see more scenery on this particular route because of the fact that it's set in Scotland. Now, I know Scotland's part of the UK, but I think the scenery is much nicer in Scotland than what you'll find in the likes of, you know, typical England. I think as you cross over the border, there is a distinct... Um, change of scenery i know that sounds weird but if you've ever crossed the border into scotland or even into wales you can see immediately that there's just something different about the countryside um it's a lot more picturesque in my opinion but you know that's just my view um grass seems to always look a little bit greener for some reason right let's get the brakes on a little bit here we certainly don't want to be crashing here there we go. I think we're good to hit the brakes now. There we go. We're going to open the doors, I think. Uh, we're going to set the brake to step three first. Are we on that now? There we go. Check a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. I have never known a time on this game when it's not been safe to open the doors on a platform. So there we go, passengers are loaded. To travel out of Glasgow Central, we will have to change ends. Let's do this now while the passengers are boarding. Right, okay. Oh, it looks like it gives us the option to open the window there as well. Maybe we can do that when we crack on down the other end. Okay, so, set headlights to tail lights if I can actually get onto it. There we go. And what we're going to do with this, we're going to switch this to off. And we're going to get our master key and switch that off as well. Okay, so now shut, we've now shut down that cab. Let's get out of here. Get this door open. Is this door going to close? Is it going to close? Well, it closes when you go in. What's this down here? Can we duck down? I can't remember how we do it. There we go. Um, I wonder if that's some sort of door switch. But anyway, regardless, we're going to press on the door there and get that thing closed. Right, here we are, guys. Glasgow Central. There we go. So, I think this is where we started in the original tutorial there. Uh, at the start of this video. Let's have a look. So, let's get ourselves in here. So, I wonder if these doors only close automatically if you come in from the outside. Is this one good? Oh, man. It's like it's trolling me now. Okay, is there a switch here that we can use? Nope, that's the signal. Um, so that's the, looks like uh, okay. That looks like the switch for all of the doors. Wow, interesting modeling going on here. That's very nice. Nice inclusion there. Okay, let's get in here anyway. Too much messing around. Oh, we forgot to close that door after all that. There we go. Sit down. Right, here we go, guys. So we'll get the master key in and we're going to switch this to, uh, once again, headlights and marker lights. And we'll use our brake, uh, sorry, reverser to go to neutral. Okay, now we've changed ends and completed our passenger boarding, set the doors to locked. So there we go, guys. And we're now going to set the reverser to forward. Okay, so we're going to proceed to the next stop. Pollock Shields West. Okay, let's get going. So we've got a 15 mile per hour speed limit coming out of here. So we'll just keep it nice and steady like this. Nice and easy out of here, guys. Here we go. I like the livery. I like the uh, the blue and white. There we go. Right, so we're just cruising now. Oh, look, there's a... That's one of those um, collectibles there. You have to put the plants in it. Nice, nice design on that collectible, to be fair. I haven't seen one like that where it's literally a train. Yeah. 
I wonder whether there were any of those, you know, when this route was running to be able to to see those in real life. If you ever saw any of those, um, those trains, sort of uh, plant pot things in real life, let me know in the comments. Right, guys, we're having a good time here. I'm enjoying this one. What was that? There was like a van park down there. Can we see that quickly before the train moves past? Yeah, nice touch. Right, we'll get back inside and let's get the throttle on a little bit here take us up to 20 mile per hour it's coming out of glasgow we've got a 15 and a 20 and then it looks like we're going to have a 25 mile per hour speed limit as well coming up so yeah guys all fun so far uh, i am enjoying this one i think um i'll maybe do another video on this and just do a um well We'll see how it goes. I mean, I don't want to just limit it to one video, but I might do at least one more um, to show off some of the um, some of the other things that you can get up to on this in the scenarios. We'll so I think we'll do a scenario. And if you want to see more videos like this, then please do subscribe to the channel because, yep, that's the one way you're going to find out what videos I've got coming up. And if you want to hit that notification bell, all the better because that'll give you a direct notification when a new video comes up. We're playing a lot of different games at the moment, different simulator games, and I have a lot of games coming up as well that I wanna show you. So yeah, please do subscribe, and if you enjoy this video, please do leave me a like, because it really does help a lot, and lets me know also what you like and what you don't like. So, but you're gonna try not to break the speed limit here. We are going downhill slightly, so I'm gonna hit just one brake and then switch it back off again as we're coming down here we haven't heard the horn yet so we see if we can do that bit of a squeaky one that one okay we've got a bit of flat track here now i like these sort of narrow corridors give you a sense of speed oh passing over another track there I love it when you see the sort of intricate uh, detail there. Can we zoom out here? There we go. So Glasgow's at the top here. We're working our way down. And this track looks a lot more complex than the one that we saw on the board at the start of the video. But yeah, cool. Right, let's have a look. Let's get ourselves back inside. Right, so we've got like about 0.6 to our next stop. We've got a 30 mile per hour speed limit here though, so that's good. And we'll get a bit more power on just to bring us into this station because I don't feel like we're just cruising a little slowly there. Let's see what the brakes are like. A little bit of stutter there. Um, you do find that this game does stutter every now and again. And we are playing on the Xbox Series X as well, so you would have thought that they would have dealt with all that stuff really, but I know that they are, um, obviously when the rush hour update hits, there is going to be a number of updates to the actual game as well, um, which is a free update. Uh, you don't have to get the DLC to get that free update to the game, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. This train is quiet. Um, you can tell, especially with that window closed there, it's almost like you can hear nothing at all. Okay, we're going slightly uphill now, so I'm just going to put notch the throttle onto one. And we'll just sort of uh, use that to cruise into the station a little bit easier. Notch it back now. Another train in at the moment. Passengers on the platform waiting for us. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, apply a bit of brakes now. See how good this thing stops. Oh, that stops very nicely actually from that speed. As expected. There we go. Uh, all, all in, guys. Can I hear a bit of a funny noise there in the background? Not too sure what that is. I don't know whether that's going to interpret through to you guys. It's gone now. 
All right, so just switching to the external camera, seem to have dealt with that, but that does conclude our tutorial by the looks of things, and we'll see how we got on there. Oh, nice gold medal, guys, and a tutorial that you may not see pop there, but anyway, I just want to say thank you so much, guys, for coming through and checking out this video today. It means the world to me. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please do obviously hit that like button, hit the subscription if you want to see more videos like this, and I'll catch you guys soon.